Hi, y'all. I'm Abby, the product manager for the Change Data Capture team here at Cockroach Labs. In our spring of 2021 release, we added support for sending change feed messages to Google Cloud PubSub. Now, change feeds are a way to stream row-level changes from your database through a SQL connection or to an external platform. Um, one of those external platforms is Google PubSub, which is a streaming platform, part of the larger Google Cloud platform. Um, it's lightweight, it's easy to use, and it integrates beautifully into other GCP technologies like BigQuery, Dataflow, etc. You can check out uh, the quick start guide on how to get started with Cockroach DB. I'm just going to assume that you already have a cluster set up with data here. Um, so I'm going to take you guys through the steps of actually setting up PubSub so that you can send changefree data to it. So the first step here, we're going to go to our PubSub console and we're going to create a topic. So I'm going to go to switch to my demo folder and create a new topic here for you guys. So we're going to say this topic is just demo and create the topic. Cool, now the second step here, we're gonna need to actually create what's called a service account. Um, service account is the way we're going to uh, actually set permissions for this topic. So um, we're gonna get our credentials and, and assign that service account to this topic so that we can actually get permission to write to it. So we can just go to the service account portal right here and create a new service account. So we're going to say this is demo, also demo service account, create and continue. Um, we can just go ahead and make it an owner. Now we're done with that. Uh, the next step, we're going to go into that service account we just created, and we're going to get a key. Um, so we're going to add create a new key, JSON key, and download it. Um, now you're going to need this when creating your change feed in order to set your credentials. So now that we've done that, we can go back to topics. And you see from earlier when I added um, the demo service account as an owner of the whole project, it automatically is kind of uh, has permissions for this topic. But if you wanted to just assign it permissions to this topic, you could also do that here on the on the right over here. Now let's take that uh, Let's take that key that you've just downloaded and we're going to base64 encode it. So you could just do this online. Um, this is one I from what I did earlier. Um, there's a bunch of these, if you just Google base64 encoders, but this is gonna be important um, so we can actually put this JSON key in uh, the connection string for our change feed. So if you, I'm opening up that um, JSON key, and I'm gonna paste it right here. And then um, you're gonna wanna copy the output here and uh, you'll see uh, where, you, where you'll need it in a second. All right, now that we have PubSub all set up, we're gonna actually create a change feed from our Cockroach cluster to send data into that PubSub topic. So the first, I have a SQL shell all set up into a cockroach cluster with data already um, in it, right now, uh, set up right here. So the first step always when creating change feeds is we're going to set a cluster setting kv.rangefeed.enabled equals true. Range feeds are um, just a prerequisite for change feeds to run. So we always need that setting set on a cluster. You only need to set it once though. The second step here is we're gonna create, go ahead and create our change feed. So create change feed for table mover dot vehicles into, and then this is where we're gonna define the actual connection parameter, the connection string for um, connecting to PubSub. So first GC PubSub is where we're going to write the data to. Um, and then we're going to, uh, you need the project ID. Um, so this is a unique ID for your project. Mine, uh, my project is called demo, but the actual ID is quiet dash sanctuary dash three five one five one three. Now the second step here, we're going to set the region. So region equals us dash east one. 
Uh, this is really important. Uh, we require you to set the region. Um, this is the region we're going to send the actual data to. Uh, this is because GC Pub Sub only guarantees ordering within regions. So right now we just kind of um, send the data to the, the region you specify. Then we're going to set the topic name. So um, to that demo topic that I created. And then we're going to set our authentication parameters here. So the kind of auth is specified. Um, and then the credentials are going to be those base64 encoded, that base64 encoded key that you uh, copied earlier. So you're just gonna paste that in here. And then if you want to add any with options, this is the place. So I'm gonna you know, add results messages is what we're also gonna send along with the changes um, to the database. So, can, so we're gonna click enter and our change feed is created. So now we have this job ID. We can just go ahead and check do show job and then um, the job ID and we can see that the job is running, um, there's no, you know, retriable, no errors with our uh, credentials or anything, so everything looks good here. The last step here, we're gonna go back to the PubSub console, um, actually go into our topic, and if we go into metrics here, we can actually see, oh look, um, we're getting data, you know, we're getting this many bytes per second uh, coming in here. So we can actually see um, over time, how much data we're getting and kind of track that. And then this is also where you're going to be able to create subscriptions, um, send data to, you know, uh, BigQuery or wherever you want to send it to. Um, and, and that's it. It's a pretty easy process.